Okay, so that was uh, bridging, merging, welding. Let's move on to cutting some holes in things and just general management of such. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cylinder and I'm going to set the subdivisions to 8. All right. Here is something that I do quite often. And that is I want to get rid of all of these triangles around the top of my cylinder because if I try to smooth this out uh, it doesn't smooth very well especially if I start manipulating this vertex uh, it's going to get really kind of bumpy and unwieldy and it gets even more apparent if I do this with let's say we go to 20 here and then Oops. Let's move it out. Now you can really see these ridges here. And that's because they're all triangles and it doesn't really know how to smooth it out. Now, what you would normally do is you'd want to add an edge loop around the top here to kind of crease that and make it flat and smooth and, and pretty. But you can't add an edge loop around the top here because it's all triangles and the edge loops don't like that. So we need to fix it. I want to add an edge loop around the top here. The first, well, here's the easiest way to just add an edge loop and get some detail. Is I'm going to select just the top faces here. And then I'm going to extrude them. And instead of extruding them out with a thickness, I'm just going to adjust the offset here. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So I'm going to just select the offset option, middle click and drag. I'm going to hold down control to make it, make the adjustments finer. And now I've essentially added an edge loop around the outside of the cylinder. And what I'll usually do is I'll scale it down pretty far because then I've got this face loop around the outside and I can go in and add more edge loops here if I want to. Okay, so I can crease that up nicely. Oops, add one more here. Now if I smooth out my cylinder, okay, now you can see that that looks a lot better than it did before. Not nearly as lumpy. Okay, so that is how I would add a, an edge loop around a cylinder. Uh, another really useful thing is just taking these uh, triangles and filling it in as a circle. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate this uh, a little bit larger because it's just going to be easier. So I'm going to select all of these faces Actually, I'm going to undo a couple times. Okay, that'll work. So I'm going to select those faces. I'm going to delete them. So now I have a circular hole. And in order to connect them, I want to connect them with all quads, right? all four-sided faces. And that's where that bridge tool comes in handy. So I'll select the edges straight across from each other. And then I'll shift right click and bridge. I'm going to set the divisions down to zero. Okay, and now I can select these two and I can bridge again. All right, and this time I can just select that. Set again divisions down to zero. And then those, these two edges, this time I'll hit G to repeat the last action. Divisions down to zero. Okay, and now I've got all quads there at the end. And again, if I want more, more detail in the edges, I can select these three faces, and I can extrude the face and just adjust the offset. All right. I can even then go back and extrude them in. All right. So I've got those options there. The kind of changing the, the cap of a cylinder from a, uh, a series of triangles to all quads is something that I do a lot and we will do more as we go through like the car uh, option or excuse me the car model in class um, so don't worry too much about getting it down right now it might just seem like this abstract process but it will start to make sense as we go uh, I think that might be it for today for this video I will uh, 
I'll stop this, then I'll start and I'll record, do a little bit of work on the toy car. Um, and that'll be that for this week.